Welcome to Sulby. Today behind me I have an old vicarage which is a beautiful peerage property which has got six bedrooms and six in around an acre of grounds with some stunning countryside views and some beautiful gardens. Now this is a fantastic property if you're looking for a substantial family home in a village location which is close to Applebee's, close to Kirby Stephen and has been fully renovated. It's been replumbed, it's been rewired. This is a superb property yet there's still a little bit of further potential if you want to. We've got a small range of outbuildings to the rear that you could create some spaces with. It's currently used as a garage and as a wood store and a garden store or alternatively on the second floor we've got a couple of rooms which have got the potential to have um, the loft space utilised as, um, as bathrooms. So currently bedrooms but if you want a couple more en suites you've got options to do so. So as you can see here a substantial home. We extend to around 3,000 square feet of accommodation, sit in around an acre of grounds and as you can see behind me these gardens are absolutely beautiful but what you can't see is the view today it's a little bit hazy and you've got stunning views across open countryside here from a break in the trees which create a little bit of a window and um, so this is a super property if you're looking for a home near Kirby Stephen and Appleby and you're looking for a substantial property then please keep on watching so this is the entrance and just to show you where we are, the village of Sorb is just in this direction and this way we can head to Crosby Garrett and um, other villages beyond there. But the home itself sits just on the edge of the village and is approached by a double set of gates leading up to this sweeping driveway which is lined by your gardens on both sides and it's hard really to see the home um, from here. But as you can see, it's coming into view. We've got the gable end, which is an impressive one. And we've got that amazing front door there, which leads us into a beautiful entrance hall, which you'll see in a few minutes. So this is Old Vicarage at Sulby. I'm now going to take you in and show you the internals. So we're going to come in this really impressive front door into a entrance hallway, which has got an inner doorway with glazed panels, which take us into a beautiful hallway, which you can just see the limbs off there. I'm just going to slip my shoes off. So this hallway is quite magnificent. You can see the height of the ceilings, that superb staircase, which takes us up onto the first floor. And we've got a number of rooms from this hallway, um, which are all, as you'll see in a few minutes, are all equally as grand as this hallway. So I'm going to go around in a, um, an order with the dining room being the first room to show you. Now these spaces are beautiful. Look at the ceiling height. You've got some fantastic pendant light in there. You've got a beautiful fireplace, space for large furniture. We've got a lovely green outlook and we're looking out over gardens, which you'll see in a little bit more detail further through the video. But looking back at this space, you've got an incredible dining room. Now you'll notice in all of the rooms, or the majority of them in this house, there's a cupboard in the corner, which is great for storage. So there's no short shortage of storage in this home whatsoever. Then we come round to the right and we've got a sitting room. Again, beautiful proportions. So this one's got dual aspect windows bringing the light in. And it's also worth noting that um, the window shutters in all the windows, um, they all work, which is great. And they've all got sash windows. And the majority of the rooms have got beautiful fireplaces like this one here. The styling in this home is incredible, but the feel it has is really beautiful and homely. It's a large house, but um, the, um, the spaces don't feel too big, but you've got some incredible ceiling height and some fantastic proportions. Now, if we look out the window here, we're looking out onto a glimpse of the garden where we started our video. Now, there's a break in the trees there, which gives us a fantastic view across the open countryside to the fells. And that view can be seen from a number of rooms across the home. Um, but we sit in an elevated position. We are bordered by lots of trees and shrubs, giving you some privacy. However, you have got gaps in there where you see the view, which is beautiful. And you'll see more views from the garden in a few minutes as well. So two reception rooms. The third reception room on the ground floor is this um, library here, which is, again, a beautiful room. It's spacious. It's got another fireplace, which is just behind the door here. Plenty of space for furniture. And you can see here that everything's been presented to an immaculate standard. This home was um, in need of a lot of TLC when it was bought and the owners have fully renovated it. They've rewired, they've replumbed, they've created some fantastic spaces. It's stunning. And you'll see, again, as we go in, 
There's lots of quirky spaces here, but this is the kitchen. And wow, what a beautiful kitchen with pendant lighting, high ceilings, a lovely range of shaker style cabinets with the Arga. Behind the door here, we've got a pantry, which is perfect for a house of this age. Again, a lovely window, which has got the window shutters. So an incredible kitchen space. And before we go up onto the first floor, I'm just gonna take you down the, um, what I call the sort of the rear hallway. This is space that's really important as a family. So we've got a utility room space here, so space for freestanding fridge freezers, space for washing machines, you've got a sink. And you've also got another hallway here, which has got a doorway into a plant room where you've got the boiler and space for coat hanging. So this space is really useful as a family. You can park up outside, you can fetch your shopping in here, but you've got that beautiful grand entrance for when your visitors arrive, which is lovely. So this is the kitchen. Um, let's keep on going because there's lots to show you here. So we've done all of the ground floor all by one room, which just sits at the end of the staircase here. This is a downstairs loo. And it has previously in the past, we believe, been used as a pantry space for the kitchen. We believe there was a door in just here um, that came through to the kitchen. So there's a whole host of history behind this home, but it's not grade two listed or grade one listed. So the hallway is beautiful the staircase is great it's nice and easy it's easy to walk up it's got a lovely stone mullion window looking out to the rear of the property and i'm not sure if you can see here but we do have wild boar fell in the distance there and then as we extend up onto the landing you can see we've got again further Fantastic proportions. Now, on this level, we've got four bedrooms and a family bathroom, and we're going to go upstairs to two more bedrooms. So the first bedroom to the left here is a prop is a um sorry, a room which has got fantastic proportions. Again, you've got a storage cupboard in the corner there. And looking out of the window, we're looking down onto those gardens at the front. You can see how beautifully landscaped they are. This is a great size room. We've got another one just like this, just to the left hand side. And looking at the furniture that we have in the home, you can see we've got large furniture, we've got big wardrobes, big beds, you've even got a sateen here. Again, you've got the sash window, so you've got the character, but you've got some fantastic proportions. This is the third bedroom, which is currently used as a dressing room. Lovely, nice fireplace there. But this is perfect if you're looking for a dressing space or maybe a nursery or a home office. It's got some furniture in here right now, but it is big enough for a single room if you wanted that um, fifth bedroom or sixth bedroom to be the single bedroom. Then we have this room here, which is another great size double room. Another fireplace, as you heard me mention further um, earlier in the video, we've got lots of fireplaces in this home. We've got another storage cupboard in the corner there. Views out of this window across to the open countryside and down over the driveway. And then on this level, before we go up the staircase, which is just to my left there, I'm just going to show you the family bathroom. Now, this has been, um, the space has been created, making this a really usable room. You've got a shower here, a large walk-in, not sorry, not a walk-in, a large airing cupboard, a walk-in shower. And then we've got an open doorway, which brings us into the bathroom, which has got a, certainly a bath with a view. Look at that, that's incredible. Um, but a really good size bathroom. Now, the doors are currently open, and um, there's just the one out onto the hallway. But if you wanted to, we do have the doors to create some private space here that can be left with the home. And equally, this door here is open, but there is a doorway which we can fit if needed. Because this is the access through up onto the second floor. So we've got a staircase which leads up here and we've got further flexible options. So there's two bedrooms up here and lots and lots of space so if i just pan my camera around what you've got either side of the staircase there is loft hatch access which is quite spacious now as we go into the rooms if we go into this one first of all you'll see we're currently using this room as an office which is a great space but if you wanted to convert through use potential here subject to planning to go through this wall here and create maybe an ensuite using that loft space alternatively you could do the same on this side but i mean these rooms are great for flexible use rooms and they're big enough as double bedrooms this one's currently used as the gym and has got the um the fireplace there as well and there's also more storage under the stairs here which extends right across the width of the property so there's lots of storage there's lots of 
beautiful rooms and there's more if you wanted to just change the space up a little bit to suit your family needs all these rooms on the second floor are just flexible store rooms play rooms music rooms whatever you're looking for so as you can see a beautiful home the view out of all the windows this one here in particular is just like a picture frame so we're looking through the stone mullion windows we're looking out across the gardens across the countryside to the fells it's absolutely stunning the next part of the video i'm going to take you outside and walk around those grounds so that you can see them in more detail so we're just going to go back out the front door and into the gardens Okay, so let's go and explore the garden. So you've seen at the start of the video, we've got this sweeping driveway which comes off um, off the road there, making this a very private driveway space. And you can see we've got ample parking for a number of vehicles. There's even more just around the corner there, which we'll see in a few minutes. But I'm going to wander through these most beautiful gardens. Now we extend to around about an acre of grounds um, in a bit of a triangle shape. And the house sits at the heart of that. So there's, um, there's gardens on all sides. And as you'll see, as we go around, they are beautifully manicured. Lots of wilder areas with some lovely colour but also some very manicured um, hedges here which are absolutely beautiful. So paths meandering through all the way through this garden space and you'll see them in every direction it's absolutely beautiful there's so much colour so much established trees and shrubs and as we come around down this pathway here the um, home will come to view from a different angle there so you can see this is old vicarage from the garden and we're just going to wander down the garden because the garden extends all the way down to the beck at the bottom you can hear a trickle of water in the background so it's so peaceful a complete sun trap and it's worth pointing out from here as you saw in the um in the video we've got fantastic views across the fells they're a little bit hazy today but in the distance you do have some beautiful open countryside views with the positioning of these trees it just opens up like a frame for that fantastic view so as you can see as we're coming around, lots of little seating areas for you to sit and enjoy, lots of established beds and we've got the beck just at the bottom there, we'll go right down to, to let you see and that just trickles down the bottom there. But the home itself is just coming back into view here which is the beautiful old vicarage. And as we walk further up to the house, you'll see we've got a set of steps that take us up to a seating area, which are perfectly private to enjoy this lovely garden space and the view across that's currently behind me. So I spin around. What an idyllic place to sit and have your lunch or enjoy the evening sunshine. Now the gardens extend all the way around to the back from here as well. So I'm going to just walk you around these paths. You can see that we've got the fells in the distance through the trees we've got lots of other areas of colour and we've got what looks like a secret doorway here that takes us around to the back so we're going to go in here and have a little look and this is where we've got a range of smaller outbuildings which have got further development potential or storage use depending on what you're looking for this doorway goes back into the home and then we've got some spaces here which are wood stores garden sheds and even a garage we've got a number of areas this being one of them where we've got a kitchen garden and we've got light, nice low maintenance areas for washing uh, hanging your washing out obviously you've got the garage there which is leading on to this extended parking area and then we've got more paths that meander through and as we walk through these you'll see we've still got some lovely seating areas there We've got further raised beds here. If you want to be self-sufficient, you could be here. But look at that incredible view from this section. Across open countryside. And as I said a few minutes ago, we're in a bit of a triangle shaped plot. So it just goes down to the tree line there where you've got a nice triangle area of lawn. And again, another place to sit and enjoy the fantastic view, which is in the distance here. So what a superb garden space. So if you'd like some more information on Old Vicarage at Sulby, then please do give us a call. This is an incredible historic house which has got six bedrooms, it's got further potential, it's got some fantastic living spaces inside and it's got views as you can see behind me across open countryside just a short distance away from Appleby and from Kirby Stephen. So please do give us a call on 01768 88 11 11. We'd be happy to give you some more information.